Hello everybody, my name is Bill and I know stuff. And what I know today is how to make 3D videos using your Quest 3 headset and an app called Quest Games Optimizer. Now this also works for the Quest 2, it just doesn't have very good pass-through video. Quest Games Optimizer was designed to make games look and run better and it does a bang up job of that. However, it has an added benefit and let you record side by side video on the headset. That's your left and your right eyes. And with that, you can create 3D videos and it is super easy to do. Once you've loaded up Quest Games Optimizer on your headset, it's a matter of clicking a few buttons and you're recording side by side video. It works for pass through, mixed reality, or game video. And when you're done, you don't have to do anything else. You can watch it immediately and it's in 3D. You'll watch it right on your headset. I'll even show you how to do it. There is one caveat to this. If you want to edit the video or edit together with other things and upload it, you will have to re-encode it when you're done. And I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Also, I'll use Shotcut to edit and then encode it very quickly. And then we'll be able to upload it to YouTube as a 3D video. So anything you do on the headset, you can record as 3D and upload it or watch it, up to you. Let's jump in and get this started. All right, before you start recording, you want to open up Quest Games Optimizer. Once the optimizer's open, click the three little bars up in the top corner. Go to Video Capture Settings. And we're going to go through these one by one. So eye selection, you want side by side for 3D capture. Capture definition uh, is up to you. I usually use 2160. That'll let you record up to a 4K video. Capture format needs to either be square or landscape. Now you might be able to get away with portrait for 3D, but you get a lot of black space there. Compression quality. I usually shoot for about 10 here. Much higher than that, it will increase your file size quite a bit the higher you go. And I've also found it causes video artifacting if you use it on a really high rate. And then frame rate, we're going to use full frame rate, which is typically whatever the game is running at, 72, 90, it will record at that. All right, and once you've got those, go ahead and hit apply and then you can go ahead and start recording whatever you want pass through mixed reality or uh, game video we're going to be using shotcut to edit the clip you can use any video editor that you want it's not dependent on shotcut and most of them davinci will let you do the same thing i'm going to be doing here and grab your clip get it down to the timeline this one hasn't, I haven't resized this one yet. I'm just going to grab a few minutes or maybe a minute uh, of it to edit. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't need more than that. Real quick. All right, that looks good. And I'm going to select the clip. I'll go to properties here and check your resolution to see what that is. This will, you'll need this for handbrake, but right now, I did 2160, so this is going to be 4K video. And the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. I'm going to change that right here when I redo this clip. I want it 4 by 3. The reason that is, is uh, the Quest actually records best in a 4 by 3 format. And it, you can convert it, but uh, it uh, still looks best in 4 by 3. So that's what we're going to do. You'll end up with these bars here you do not have to worry about those and that's all you really have to do you're going to do any other editing you want but for our purposes what you need to know is change that aspect ratio and we're just going to export it as an mp3 file so we'll call this demio mr and four times three just so we are clear what it is and we have to let it run it'll take a few minutes and when we come back, we'll be able to convert that using Handbrake and be ready to go. 
All right, the edit is done, and I'm gonna take a quick look and make sure that works the way I expect it to. Called it Demio MR 4.3. Let's look at that real quick. It's working just fine. And we're done with Shotcut at this point. And we're gonna go ahead and open up Handbrake. New version, I'll have to get that, but not, not right now. And we're just going to drag the file we want, which is the one I, we're gonna take the, the clip that I just edited, which is the 4.3, drop it right there. And it's in Handbrake. You can also open source, it'll do the same thing. We wanna make sure it's an MP4 format. Don't need to do anything else here. We're gonna tell it where to save, and you can do this at any point, let's do it while we're here. And I'm gonna put encode on this, just so we're able to tell it apart. You would wanna do something similar. Make sure we're gonna save it back to the same directory and save, and you see that's done. Next, we're gonna to go to, to dimensions. And here in dimensions, you're gonna see the same size that we saw when we edited the video, which is what we want, but now resolution and scaling. Let's go ahead and set this. We already want to know we want 4K. You can set it to whatever you want. We don't have to do anything else with the pixels because we already did that when we previously edited. So all of that is good. So right now, everything's the way we want it. We're gonna go to video. We want to make sure the encoder is H.264. You can change it to other things, but that is up to you. For frame rate, we're gonna select this and run it up. We want it same as source. Remember that, same as source. And then down here, this is the most important part. We're gonna type frame minus packing equals three. That is what you need to actually get the encode so that the video player knows it's supposed to be a side-by-side -side 3D file. That's all you have to do. You're gonna hit start encode. Depending on how big the file is, this can take a while. This is relatively small, so it'll go quickly. But if you're doing uh, a large file, it can take quite a bit of time. All right, the encoding has finished. Uh, nothing happens, and let's go look at the file real quick. Oop, let me refresh that. Scroll down, we see the one we did encode, and you notice that the encode one looks square now. And there's a reason for that, and that was the whole purpose of doing that encode um, when we do it. So if you open it up and you look at it, it's same looks like the same clip as the other one, but the video player will know the difference. Now, we're gonna go ahead and copy both of these, and normally you would just keep the one that you wanna play on your headset, but in this case, I'm gonna transfer them both back over to the headset so that we can look at them and you can see the difference. Now, let's go ahead and play this uh, just using the file manager in the Quest 3. We'll go ahead and open up the 4x3. And it starts playing. You see it's got the little 2D down there. Click on that and you'll see 3D side by side. Select that and then it goes into the 3D mode, only it don't look right. This is where the encoding comes in. So let's go ahead and stop that one. I'll just close it out. Let's go ahead and open up the 4x3 encode. Make sure we're in 3D side by side. And there you go. It looks great, quite frankly. And this works, this is mixed reality, but it works on the pass-through video. It works on game videos. Any way you wanna do it, it works just fine. So if we uploaded this clip to YouTube VR, you'd be able to see it there. You'll be able to see it in 3D. That's how you use your Quest 3 or your Quest 2 Quest Games Optimizer 
a video editor and then handbrake to create Let's get those spatial 3D videos. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. I can use all the friends I can get. Maybe think about subscribing. I'm Bill. I know stuff. Y'all have a good day. Bye now.